So in the first congressional district, we've got the fourth round of this uh, ongoing rematch between Carol Shea Porter and incumbent Frank Ginta. And right now it is Shea Porter leading this race with a 14 point spread over Frank Ginta, a margin that becomes more understandable when you look at net favorability. The incumbent is 19 points underwater in that category, while Shea Porter is 18 points on the plus side of things. Since she's been out of office, has become more popular in the district kind of out of sight, out of mind. Uh, but uh, Ginta and in, in the negativity that went on during the, the primary, I think has really hurt him. But in 2016, the first CD may have an X factor. Sean O'Connor is the wild card, and he's spending a considerable amount of money on this campaign. Right now, independent Sean O'Connor is getting 10 points of support. And while he is still trailing the major party options, pollster Andy Smith says O'Connor is trending beyond just a protest candidate. He may have an opportunity to really show people that he's not just uh, a name uh, as, as a placeholder for registering discontent, but he's actually a substantive candidate in his own right. In the second district, election night could be an early one for Annie Custer and her Republican challenger, Jim Lawrence, as the incumbent has a commanding 28-point lead over Lawrence, a margin that could make help from the National Party unlikely for the challenger. If, uh, if Lawrence isn't able to get significant amount of support behind him, it's going to be very difficult for him to, uh, to, to push this boulder up the hill. It's worth pointing out, in every race, there are a large pool of undecided voters out there. So if you want a deeper look at these numbers, you can find them right now at WMUR.com.